Hey guys, sorry about this again. Um, capture fucked up again. So, yeah, we get to, uh, rewind. Again. <sighs> yeah, like, each second was taking, like, four. Yeah, so, uh, we get to have fun. Ah, <sighs> anything but fun. And I wasn't even near the end of the episode. Um... Yeah. <laughs> got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Oh, wow. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak, on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin... Ribs. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You'll find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. You better stop fucking around, butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. I can tell just by looking at it that your meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. I... Sheriff, I... Oops. Did you hear that? What? Yeah, oh, I'm fucking sorry. hit Hold the on. panic button. Alright. Go so I guess there's no way avoiding that. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. <sighs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, I was trying to avoid having him hit the button. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Okay, I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. I'll be right out. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? You gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? Just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? 
it, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down the hook in the deep freeze. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. That's enough, Johan. I've heard all I need to. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know. There we go. Sorry, I know it would have been better to listen to the door, but there's really... I, I kind of knew that there was no one in there. And the panic light's on. <laughs> what is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it, you can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to! Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. James, who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. It's looks like he's got all the right equipment to do this shit with. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, Looks like he could process him into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. Shit. Looks into everybody. And it's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this, it's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. How the hell did all this happen? I didn't see it. I didn't stop it. This is a whole lot bigger than we thought. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Craig? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? It's not...
No. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on! Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't gonna be understanding about Bigby Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. one here and uh catch you guys in the next one again i made it like 30 minutes but whatever um <laughs> uh, uh, last time i recorded anyway I i'm rambling <laughs>